In both world wars, the merchant navy, manned not by servicemen but by civilians, provided the vital lifelines behind any war effort. The risks these men took were high, the sacrifice even higher. And though we often pause to remember our fallen, sadly, the merchant navy is often a forgotten force. Well, that was true, and it was. It was like sometimes called the fourth service, but at the time, and I'm talking during the war, you know, your, when the ship was sunk, your pay stopped. Even though it took you another two or three weeks to get home, your pay actually stopped when the ship was sunk. Um, they, they did change that later on. But uh, it, it was something I grew up into, really. When the Second World War erupted in Europe, John Gregson was only 15, too young to join the military. But with an insatiable lust for adventure in the high seas, age wouldn't hold him back for long. When I was 16, war had been going for a, uh, nearly a year, and uh, I, I wanted to go to sea, and so I joined the Merchant Navy. We were carrying cargo of all descriptions, uh, to and fro across the Atlantic. Uh, the weather was usually foul. You were constantly aware it could be attacked any time. So the, the German submarines were very efficient. And uh, very often in the middle of the night, you, you'd hear an explosion, and see a, a flames on the other side of the convoy, and they'd, they'd got a ship. About 30,000 merchant navy seamen lost during the war, a huge number. People, a lot of people don't realise how many seamen were lost. For a young man seeking adventure, John certainly found it in the Merchant Navy. He also found himself on board a sinking ship more often than he'd cared to remember. However, it was on one of these fated ships sailing through the Mediterranean that he earned an honour few living civilians share today. We got hit by a couple of aerial torpedo bombers and the torpedo went right into the stern, right under the ship, right under where I was. And um, that was the uh, end of, of us. I was knocked out. And when I came round, uh, everybody had gone, except two other guys, there were two, three, three of us there. The ship was in flames. So there was no way we could get along the deck because the flames were up to the masthead. The, one of the army gar gunners, he was, um, trapped under a raft, so my mate and I managed to get the raft off him and throw him over the side and we jumped in after him. I was a good swimmer in those days and I swam with him uh, about a mile or so to the destroyer and I didn't know about six months later that um, they uh, awarded me the Albert Medal for saving life at sea. Um, which came as a big surprise. In 1971, they made that obsolete, and any surviving living holders were awarded the George Cross in its place. But um, I elected to keep the Albert Medal. 